just like yesterday, we are going to be adding, but today we are going to be showing it with cubes instead of with the pictures that they already gave us like we did yesterday. So I want you to listen carefully and draw your cubes when I give you the numbers. So this is what a cube looks like. And how I draw cubes is I just draw a square and a circle in the middle. That's all I need to draw my cubes, okay? There are six children on the playground. Go ahead and draw your cubes. You need to raise your hand, but you need to get this part done first, and then you will go. Two more children join them. So go ahead and draw that. You need to listen. Can you put it with the other one? How many children are on the playground? Thank you for saying it in your brain. Okay, so how many children were there to start with? Six. Six. So you should have drawn six cubes. How many children join them? Two. Two, so you should have drawn two more. Remember, each of my cubes stands for one child. How can I use my cubes to help me with this problem? How can I use my cubes to help me with this problem? Are they going to help us? Why? Did your pictures help you yesterday? Yeah, how did they help you yesterday? Are your cubes going to help you? Yeah. How? How are your cubes going to help you? Yes, it helps us by adding it together. Six is a pretty big number. And then if I add two more, then that's an even bigger number than six. So if I draw a picture and use my cubes, then that will help me by counting my picture and counting my cubes to find the answer. So I want you to count your cubes and give me a thumbs up when you know the answer. What is six plus two first grade? Eight. 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 It is eight. So I expected you to draw six cubes and two more cubes. If you would like to write the answer eight, that is perfectly fine. You may. You do not have to. If you want to write the number sentence six plus two, you may write that as well.
what I wanted you to do was draw your cues. Okay, that was the direction, was to draw to show your work. Okay, please turn your paper over. We are going to do the same thing on this side. I have five turtles. So how many cubes am I going to draw? Five. Guess what, first grade? They drew them for us, so all we have to do is trace it. One, two, three, four, five. And two more turtles. So what are we going to do? Draw again. Draw again. You are right. One, two. What was my first number, first grade? Five. Five. So I'm going to write five first. What is this? We talked about this on Friday, and we talked about it on Monday, and we talked about it yesterday. What is that thing? It's a plus sign. What does that mean? More. Show me more. Good. More. I get more. How many turtles more did I get? Two. Two. Amen. Oh, what is this? Equal. It's an equals. Okay. That's telling me that I'm done adding. Did I see even more turtles? No. no, I am done adding. So that is telling me that it's equal to. This right here is my answer. Or it is also called my sum. So when I add more together, my answer is called the Oh, thank you, first grade, for listening. I appreciate that. So when I put all of these parts together, my plus sign, my numbers, my equal sign, and my sum, when I put all of those things together, it is called an addition sentence. Why do you think it is called addition sentence? Why do you think it's called addition sentence? Because it's just sentences and it says that. Okay, very good. So it is kind of like a sentence, like when we read, right? Because we're going from left to right. You're exactly right, kind of like when we read our sentences, when we're reading books. Why is it called addition? Why do you think it's called because addition? Because it's adding. Oh, remember this right here? This is a plus sign, which means we are adding. So it's an addition sentence. You are exactly right. Okay, first grade, let's go down here to number one. It says, can you read it with me? Three cats and one more cat. Are we going to draw cats? No. No. What are we going to draw? Cubes. So, please draw three cubes. Like squares. And... One more cube. Oh, first three. What is this? A plus. That whole thing is a plus? What is that whole thing called? Addition. An addition and sentence. sentence. It's an addition sentence. What is missing? So, the sum. The answer is missing. There's the plus sign right here. 
the answer is missing, or we call it the sum. sum. What do you think you're going to have to do? Write the answer. What did we just do that would help us figure out the answer? Add. What did we add? Cubes. Cubes. We drew the cubes to help us find the sum. Did I have to draw the picture? Yes. yes, it's the directions. Draw the cubes and then write the sum. Okay? So there's two things you have to do. You have to draw your cubes first and then write the answer. Can you guys do that for me? Yes. Okay, do you guys have any questions?